am here at Go Home Lake, uh, just at the uh, spot here where I unload the car. snowmobiling here which is really weird usually there's snowmobile tracks um, and I don't really see too many sled tracks either just uh, a couple of foot tracks so um, kind of strange but uh, anyways it's really cold out here it's minus 12 and uh, minus 21 with the wind chill um, and it is very windy so um, I'm gonna get unpacked really quick and get my stuff all out and um, then I will go park the car and make my way in all right well I got everything on the toboggan and uh, I think I've got it lashed up right. Uh, it is my first time using it. Um, I gotta admit, I'm a little bit scared today. I'm really, really anxious. Uh, this is my first solo winter trip in a year. And uh, the weather's not the best. Um, it's really windy, it's cold, storm warning. Um, I don't know, I'm anxious, I'm scared a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna make a go for it. So, wish me luck. And I just parked my car. Sled is all packed up and ready to go. And uh, there's not too many people here. I came early. It's like, I don't know, 8.30 or something like that. Um, I didn't want to be here where all, when all the snowmobiles get here. Um, I want to get off the, the little road in before the snowmobiles start coming because they just whip around that road like crazy and I don't want to get hit. <laughs> So, um, yeah, just walking to where I left the toboggan with all my stuff. That's about it for now. It is almost certain when you go to Go Home Lake that you're gonna have to climb a big hill to find a place to camp. This whole place is hills and uh, I got I got a good like three quarters of the way up and then I just couldn't pull it anymore so I tied the sled to a tree and I took everything off and I'm just carrying it up the hill one by one. <sighs> it started snowing and uh, it's coming down really good actually uh, so I'm just gonna go get I got one more bin and it's of course the wood bin which is the heaviest so I gotta go get that Alright, the tent is up. I've got snow around all the edges and uh, I'm going to set up the stove and put my stuff in there and uh, get a fire going and start getting warm. Woo. All right, it's 11.30 and I've got a nice fire going in the tent and I am freezing. It's snowing like crazy. It's really windy out here and uh, I'm going to go inside and warm up for a bit. Brr. Hey. Well, it's around uh, 12 o'clock and um, just sitting here getting warm again. <laughs> um, the uh, stovepipe on my tent is sideways um, and it was facing the wind. So basically um, the fire was going great. I finished setting up and everything was good. 
and then all of a sudden smoke started coming out the front door um, like blowing out the front door and I was like what's going on right so then I realized that the wind is coming from that direction and it's blowing in the pipe and pushing all the smoke into the tent um, so I do have a, a bent uh, elbow type of a pipe that I bought just from uh, the hardware store and I popped that on the end and uh, at first the fire didn't want to catch again so it took a little while and uh, I ended up having to um, baton some wood uh, make some nice small dry pieces and then uh, slowly the fire started going again so it's just starting to warm up again in here and um, I've got my thermometer and just like here so it's kind of you know a little bit more realistic it's kind of here like where I am not way up there or on the ground um, so it says it's 22.4 degrees so that's pretty good um, I'm very cold my pants are kind of wet uh, my, my shirt is wet like I am wearing all dry wicking stuff but everything got really wet and sweaty when I was coming up that big hill um, so I'm gonna sit in here probably for at least an hour or maybe even more um, get my layers off and uh, dry out my clothes before I had uh, head out to do some exploring so um, I did bring a book I'm gonna sit here and read a little bit I'm gonna have my lunch and uh, just enjoy being warm again um, it is snowing quite good and I've got my window now which is really nice um, so I can see out and uh, the snow is coming down pretty hard it actually um, sounded like freezing rain there for a while and ice pellets um, there is some ice pellets as you can see it's all on the side of the tent so every once in a while I just kind of knock it to get all the stuff down um, because if it melts then it'll start leaking into the tent it is waterproofed and fireproofed but um, you know sometimes it still does leak a little bit so keep myself nice and dry and uh, I'm enjoying the warmth of the fire well it's lunchtime and I'm just sitting in here reading my book it's toasty warm uh, 34 degrees says the thermometer which is awesome um, it's really nasty outside it sounds actually like it's ice pellets um, hitting the tent and uh, there's actually a couple of spots that um, have been leaking a little bit on the front door just because it's facing uh, where the snow is blowing um, but everything's fine otherwise so just having my lunch I have a turkey wrap with uh, cheese that I made yesterday so uh, I'm just gonna eat that and uh, continue reading my book I'm just heading on a bit of a walkabout to uh, see what's happening out here um, it's snowing a lot uh, this is actually where I came in a couple of hours ago <laughs> and it's already covered up like you can't even see my tracks this is exactly where I came in <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go check out the lake first I know that there's a bit of a swamp here somewhere um, it's all frozen and I don't get a soaker you know it, it looks so clear on the video but it is just coming down like so heavy um, see if maybe I'm gonna go down by the lake and see if that'll kind of give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like You can't even see across the valley. My tent is over there and you can't even see it. It's snowing a lot out here. <laughs> I've been out for about 15-20 minutes and uh, I'm just covered. All right, well, there's the lake. And uh, you can barely see across it. Just a mess out here. Oh, and here comes the wind. Yay! Ooh, that is not nice. <laughs> Well, at least we're finally getting some snow. 
it's kind of nasty by the lake, so I think I'm going to walk a bit more in the forest and go for my little walkabout. I'm going to start heading this way and see where I end up. Well, my face is really red. I just got back from uh, a walk outside. Um, it's really nasty out. It's ice pellets and it's super windy and um, yeah, my face is like frozen. Ugh. I'm going to sit here and uh, get warm by the fire. Um, it's still going, thankfully. I just need to add some wood to it. Well, I'm just sitting here reading my book. Um, this is a collection of a bunch of different stories. It's called Rivers Running Free. The book is from my friend Eileen and uh, it's really good. It's just a whole bunch of different stories um, in it uh, and they're all by like women so it's kind of cool. So I've just been sitting here reading and uh, listening to the freezing rain, ice pellets outside. It sounds really nasty. It's really windy and um, I'm just nice and warm and cozy in the tent. I did uh, go for a little walk earlier, um, but my phone was full and uh, I didn't I didn't want to stop and delete the videos and take my gloves. Like I have texting gloves, but they're really thin and my hands were just too cold. So anyways, whatever. <laughs> All right, for dinner today, I decided to make pierogies, and um, I, I've never made them camping. I was sitting there the other night thinking, what can I make that would be like different, um, still yummy, and uh, I thought pierogies would be fun. So um, I put them in the water, put them uh, on the stove, and they're already floating, so they're pretty much ready. Um, and in the frying pan here, I have some bacon, um, just chopped up into chunks and uh, some onion and uh, I'm just kind of letting those simmer down and then I will uh, toss them all together. Um, I also have some uh, marble chia cheddar cheese here. It's uh, lactose free and some butter and uh, some sour cream in this container here. That blue sour cream. Boy, does it ever smell good in here. <laughs> All right, the pierogies are nice and brown, and the bacon is crispy, and everything is lovely, and I'm going to put them on the plate. I've got some grated cheddar cheese, and uh, once the pierogies are on the plate, then I'll just kind of sprinkle it on top of them. Well, sometimes they say the messier the food is, the better it tastes, and uh, this is going to taste spectacular. I'm so excited. Doesn't look good. I know it just looks like a bunch of sloppy stuff, but I bet you it tastes delicious. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. I'm gonna go eat. I'll be back in a bit. Bye. Well, I've just been sitting here uh, reading and chilling out. Um, it's hot in the tent now. Um, it's hot enough for me to be in my tank top, uh, so I had to strip down. Um, but uh, yeah, it's very comfortable, nice and warm. It's starting to get dark. I'm still so full from dinner. It was so yummy. Um, just going to go get my headlamp out and uh, probably just going to lay in my bed and read my book for a while and then head to bed early. Um, it's still snowing, ice pelleting, straining, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, um, yeah, it's been a, been a lovely day in the hot tent anyways. Been out a few times, but uh, I don't stay out too long because it's just not, not very pleasant out there. Hey! Well, it's uh, around quarter to nine and I've been sitting here reading my book still. Um, also having a nice hot beverage. I've got a hot apple cider and spiced rum, which is yummy. Um, it's still snowing outside. It's been snowing a ton. And uh, yes, I'm still in my tank top and it's still nice and warm in here. Um, so I'm actually getting really sleepy. So I think I'm going to head to bed soon. Um, it's a lot of work bringing all that stuff up that big hill and trying to pull the toboggan up the hill with all that stuff on it. It was just exhausting. So um, probably head to bed soon and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. 
Well, it is almost uh, 8 o'clock. Um, it is still snowing, raining, snowing, ice pellets, whatever it is. Um, made it through the night okay. It was a bit chilly. Um, the tent is leaking a little bit um, where my, my bed is. Um, so that was not the greatest, but it was just dripping on my sleeping bag. And, um, you know, it, it probably, I can't say how warm it is because like, even though it's, you know, maybe 25 degrees here where I am, down on the ground, it's usually about zero. Um, so, um, still comfortable though. Anyways, I'm gonna get cracking, literally. I'm gonna make some breakfast. Uh, this morning I am having um, an egg wrap, egg cheese, egg ham and cheese wrap. Um, and then I made uh, three breakfast sausages at home that I just have to heat up. So I've got the pan on the stove already and uh, just got some, some wood in there and getting it nice and hot so um, I can cook on it. Right, I'm just getting my breakfast going. Um, got three breakfast sausages in the pot there. Um, they're already cooked. I'm just heating them up and um, just gonna put the eggs in there. I've got some ham. Some, uh, sauteed and I'm just gonna mix up the eggs in here and then put them on a pot. Easy piece. Now because of the ham in there I'm not gonna add any salt or anything. Um, I don't actually eat pepper so just ham and egg and then um, on the wrap I already have some cheddar cheese uh, some two-year-old white cheddar shredded on there, so just have to put the eggs on top and then the cheese on it. All right, so there's my eggs on my wrap, and uh, well, they smell really good. I mean, it's just ham and cheese and eggs. It's not like anything amazing but still delicious. So I rolled my wrap up and there it is with my breakfast sausage. And I'm gonna sit here and eat. Uh, unfortunately, I already drank my hot chocolate, so, but it was yummy. <laughs> bon appetit. Well, breakfast was delicious and um, I'm just cleaning up uh, the last of the dishes. Um, basically cleaning up means putting them in plastic bags and then putting them away so I can wash them at home. <laughs> um, just uh, packing up a few more things and uh, I guess then I'll have to kind of tone down the fire. It's still really hot in here. Oh, this is the site of my tent this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just covered in snow. Barely see out of the window. It's part of the ground now. <laughs> the snow is claiming the tent and sucking it back down. <laughs> That's insane. So because um, it snowed a lot last night, my trail um, going down the hill is pretty much disappeared. <laughs> so I've got my snowshoes on and I'm just going to try to tamp the trail down. I'm just going to walk on it a couple of times um, and hopefully the toboggan will follow the trail. Usually if there's a track of some sort, it's pretty good at following it. And because uh, there's a lot of stuff like these trails going down. Oh, I'm supposed to go that way. <laughs> I just want to make sure that, not make sure, but do everything I possibly can to help the toboggan go the way it's supposed to go down the hill. It's going to be a bit of a struggle getting it down here this morning. I'm assuming I'm going to have to stand at the back of the toboggan and hold the rope and just kind of uh, slowly let it go down. It's January 18th and I just realized it's the first time I've worn snowshoes this uh, season. That's kind of crazy. <sighs> All right, well, 
I just went all the way down and all the way back up and the tamping down seems to have worked nicely. Uh, so I'm going to go back up and pack up the toboggan. Hopefully I didn't do it too soon and uh, make my way out. All right, my sled is all packed up and uh, I'm ready to head out. Hey, well, of course I just got out and it finally stopped snowing and like it's pretty much snowed since I left this spot yesterday. So it's kind of funny. i um, really glad I made those snowshoe tracks down that hill. Um, the toboggan just hugged it. It was great. I just held the back rope and uh, let it down slowly and it followed the tracks. And then when I got back out to the, the main road here, um, it's not really a private road, but um, there's snowmobiles that use it. And uh, I got into a snowmobile track and it was really easy to uh, pull out. Um, so yeah, finally stopped snowing and it looks like the sun's even trying to come out now, which is nice. Um, but I'm heading home. So, uh, had a really great trip, really enjoyed using the Whiskey Jack toboggan. Um, it was pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to using it again next weekend on my trip with Sue from Sue's Outdoor Crew. That's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be her first time in the new big hot tent and uh, it's going to be my first time taking the big hot tent into the back country. So that should be pretty neat. Um, great adventure. It was short but sweet. I mean, you know, you have to deal with the weather that you get sometimes and unfortunately I couldn't get out longer than now, but um, at least I got out and I had a really good time and uh, it was it was great to, uh, to have a little adventure. So um, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.